Hi guys, it's Keith with Arkenberg Farms. And with the first farmer's market coming up this weekend, I just want to show you a little bit of the progress we've done here out here on the farm and how we've really got the season ramped up so far. As you can see by the beautiful lettuce already coming in nicely. Take you on a tour. Now to start off, I'm taking you over here into plot one. Not much going on over here yet. Got some rashes coming in good. All the way down. Empty rows, I got a crop out. This one here, and this one here. And this one here. These are gonna get carrots in all three of these, which I hopefully will get planted today. Over here, we've got some carrots just starting to pop. I saw some the other day. There they are. I don't know how well. There we are. There's one. There's a couple more. They're coming along nicely. Let's head over to the next plot. Plot two this year is going to live underneath the cat tunnel all year. Got some rashes over here on the end. Just some red bells. Come further down the row here. Got a bunch of French breakfast. They're starting to come along. They're still probably another two weeks, maybe three weeks out. Ooh, there's a nice one right there. Maybe two weeks. Then we got our leaf lettuce. It's coming along good. We're gonna take a little bit of a cut, not off of this row, but off of this one over here in the corner. That way we have something for market this weekend. They're starting to fill in good. But we need some product, so I'm going to cut some. And then over here, we got our romaine heads, which these are looking beautiful this year. I'll take you down to the end of the row over here. We got our beautiful oak leaf lettuce. Those are coming along real nice. Might be a few that I can cut. Some of these larger ones I might. I mean, that is good size, but I want to wait and see how big they'll actually get for me. Now we're going into the prop house. I got mainly my warm season crops in here. Got more onions, squash, cucumbers, celery, more celery waiting to pop. Got my peppers and more celery. Down below that, all of my tomato starts. Those are the ones I potted up. There's probably about 200 of them there. Come back up to the top and we got more squash, cucumbers, cucumbers, cucumbers. Those are my second succession. Celery, which I planted some in the tray. And I got the rest of my tomato starts that I still have to pot up. And over here we got our basil. Might need to plant some more. I'm not exactly sure on that. And down below here are some of my overwintered lettuce. I mean, look at the size of that thing. That is just huge. We also got another one down here in the corner too. It's like the size of my head. Amazing what they do when they'll sit here. And I've done virtually nothing to them all season long. They were planted in about October last year. Not much going on plot three. I planted out uh, arugula arugula, spinach, and spinach. And then over in the corner, we got our brassica mix for our spring mix. It's coming along good. It's only about a week old. Plot four is coming along nicely. It's completely planted out. We got a bunch of leaf lettuce in here. More rashes outside. They're doing real good. Some head lettuces, struggling a little bit with the wind. More mature spring mix over here. Then we got spinach, just starting to leaf up. 
Now in the end, we got to repeat again. Got more of our leaf lettuce down here. More spinach. Radishes. Head lettuce. And leaf lettuce. Plot fives are underneath the high tunnel. Built it over it last season. In here we mainly got leaf lettuce. You have some drop, that's why there's some holes in it. Good amount of head lettuce. They're starting to size up finally. Another good strain of leaf lettuce. The reason I left the uh, two sections here in here is because we're going to start interplanting these with tomatoes here in about 20 days. Same thing here. Got some real nice head starting to size up over here as well. And I got my celery planted out. Oh yeah, the lighter was to burn holes in the landscape fabric to get it underneath the sidewalls there. And then over on the end over here, we've got the rest of our starts. Some more kale going, and lettuce, 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 and more lettuce. All different sizes and stages. There's one week old. There's two weeks old. Come back over here for three weeks old. And then here's four weeks ready to be planted out here sometime this week. Over here in plot six, got the plastic off the uh, quick cat tunnel I did. Got my garlic going nicely all the way down this row. Some overwintered spinach. And salad mix, those direct seed is not doing too hot. Come down here to the end where I've got my potatoes planted out. They're starting to come up. Got some here that are just popping up. And over here, still waiting on this row. One of these has just started to pop. Yeah, there, that one is starting to pop. Need to do a little bit watering in. The soil here gets so crusted on top. I'm worried they're having trouble pushing through. Over here we got four rows of kale, which the glare is making it really hard to see. I just potted those up last week, planted them in. Behind me, we got a bunch of onions. We got red onions and a bunch of yellow onions as we come down the row. Over here in plot seven, we got a bunch more lettuce out here going. Mainly heads on both sides of me. Leaf lettuce over here. Repeat the same thing down here. I believe this was a planted row of radishes that haven't come up yet. From there on, we're just tarped out, stale seed bed, and getting ready to go. Over here, down in the bottom of uh, plot six, forgot to mention, we're going to have peppers, squash, and a bunch of other stuff as the season goes along. Well, I hope you all like what you saw today. Don't forget to come down and see us at the downtown Topeka Farmer's Market this weekend. We're going to have limited supplies of lettuce at this point because we're not quite up to uh, full capacity yet with production. Hopefully next week or the other. Well, thank y'all. Hope y'all like what you saw today. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Have a good day.